Hey, I'm Peter Sullivan. Hey, welcome to the EMF and Autism Group. We started this group last year after I talked at Autism One, and we felt we needed a forum for all these protocols and all these ideas and new solutions around EMF reduction or electromagnetic field reduction and wireless radiation reduction, and to just really give parents the support they need to make to uh, reduce exposure for their children. So um, you can look at my talk at Autism One. Uh, I've got shorter talks too. I've got a little talk about our story, which is a couple minutes. I've got a lot of videos that we'll be sharing on my site and on my company's site, Clearlight Ventures. So I've got a little story of our family. Our kids have recovered. One of the key elements was reducing wireless radiation. It's one of the key pieces of the puzzle. Um, it's not the whole puzzle. There's a whole load of factors, but this is one piece, and it's one really important piece, an invisible piece that most people have assumed were safe, especially folks like us in Silicon Valley. Uh, that was obviously not the case, and I felt pretty naive about that. So um, we're going to be exploring some new protocols. So my favorite one is uh, Dr. Yelter's protocol, cheap and free, it doesn't cost anything, and I think that's the, the best way to start. So you turn off your cordless phone, um, base station, baby monitor if you have one, um, Wi-Fi at night, and then we also turn off a circuit breaker, and make sure you don't have your, um, a cell phone in the bedroom as well. So that's a start. I've got a video explaining that. Um, there's also uh, Dr. Dunkley has a protocol for, Victoria Dunkley has a protocol for reducing your screen time. So kids' exposure to video games and iPads and having their cell phone in their pocket and all this stuff. And she's doing a, like a 28 day um, fast, on screen time fast. And she's seeing some major developments, some kids getting off medication and some really nice improvements with that. So. Uh, I feel like the, the first one's pretty easy because it's cheap and free and you don't have to get into the control dramas. You're not you know, getting in, into that with kids. So I kind of start with that and then start limiting the screen time when they've slept well for a couple weeks and, and have a little bit more capacity. They won't give you that rigid behavior. Um, and then Dr. Klinghart has actually been working on this since 2001. He's got some really strict protocols. We're really turning off power in the whole house, a uh, big um, RF curtain over the bed, shielding. Um, and filters, EMF filters in the walls to get rid of dirty electricity. So he's had some really good success. He's getting kids to recover in about six months with that combination of lower EMF and his biological protocols. Um, so we're exploring a lot of things. Some of it's controversial. Uh, we don't all agree on this yet, um, but I think we're getting close and I think we're getting to some good biomarkers. I'm gonna be doing a talk at Autism One this year called Ending Autism. I'm going to lay out all the possibilities of all the different treatments and then kind of show an ideal path uh, because I flailed around with this for 15 years and uh, I've had some, some success. I think there is an ideal sequence. I think there's some things you really have to do and we're going to start laying those out. So good luck. I hope your children recover.